Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and a new video on survival multiplayer with Dagoin. Uh, here is Dagoin now, as you can see it's not a very nice day. So we have got some fields to harvest but they uh, are obviously not going to do it while it's raining. What we can do now though is sell these silage bales because the price is pretty good. It's December now so it's a good month to sell silage. And also we're hoping to buy the used Matthew Ferguson in the sale if it doesn't disappear before we get these sold. This is going to be a bit of an awkward job because <laughs> these tractors aren't powerful enough really to push all these bales. I'm hoping between us we can get get them mostly sold. Um, it's a bit awkward but we'll do our best with it. Looks like we're going to get just over 1200 for each bale with the environmental reward which isn't bad because considering how many bales we've got here we don't need to sell that many before we'll have enough to buy that tractor. I think the tractor in the sale is about 61,000 so we're over halfway there. Be easier pushing them dagger in. <laughs> Wish I could tell him that. <laughs> yeah, if we if we push them in, it's a lot easier than trying to drag them. Already thirty six thousand. Problem is when there's a lot like this all together, I can't really push the whole lot with this tractor. So I'm gonna have to push them to the side and then push them individually or in twos. It's quite an awkward job this, it doesn't look particularly realistic unfortunately but it's uh, the best way of doing it now as they're all in a pile. The price is actually starting to drop as well because we're, we're selling more, I think that makes the price go down. It's better to sell them all in one go but that's not going to be possible. Once we hit 61,000 I'll try and buy that tractor if it hasn't already disappeared. That's what I'm worried about. The sooner we can get up to 61,000 the better. Not too far away. We'll certainly do it with this amount of bales. Okay, almost there. One more bale and we should be able to get that tractor. We saw that. Get that one sold. Let's see if we can buy it. 61,800. Not quite, but <laughs> just a few pounds off. I don't want it to disappear at the sale. There we go. We now own the big tractor, or the bigger tractor anyway. Dagoin also bought this uh, bale trailer. We've got the straw bales to sell. Yeah, this is going to be a big, big improvement. Finally, a decent sized tractor. Probably use this to get the rest of the bales sold, possibly. Try and push them with it. It doesn't have a front loader, but that's not the end of the world. It's more of a field tractor, field work tractor. Don't know whether this will work. Don't want to just drive over them all, but. Oh, yeah, it's sort of pushing them. Still struggling with the little tractor. Yeah, it'd be nice to not, not do any wheelies for a bit. Although, this, as I say that, I drive over a bale in wheelies, but yeah, you know what I mean. If this had a front loader, it'd be ideal, but at the moment, we'll just make do without. Alright, so that's all of the bales sold. We've got 32,000 after buying this tractor, which is pretty good. What I'll do is I'll go and get that, collect that trailer that we uh, or Dagoin bought earlier. And we'll take that up to the straw bale field. We can load that up with bales. So he bought, oh, he's bought a rear weight or a front weight. It's probably easier than using a cultivator as a rear weight all the time. Uh, yeah, I'll uh, take this up to the bale field and then we can start loading this up with bales. I might need to buy a pallet fork 
or some form of bail spike because I think we've only got one at the moment, which Dagoin's using. If we both have one, we'll be able to both load the, tr the trailer with bales. Here we are at the field, as you can see, yeah, all of that one is ready to harvest now. And then we've got part of that one ready, but the other side of that one isn't quite ready yet. But yeah, that one is all ready to go as soon as it stops raining. But it doesn't really matter too much at the moment, because we've got all these straw bales to move first. Which is going to be a bit of a job. Park that in the middle there. And then I'll uh, buy another bale spike or pallet fork. Whatever is easier or cheaper, really. I suppose whatever's cheaper will be the best thing. Let's get up here and then uh, let's have a look at what we can get. I'll put logs, log foot here. It's not. The, I'd rather have it at, at the yard, but it can stay there for now. And then we'll. Uh, oh, there's a sprayer as well. Look in the sail. Neither one of them really as well, because our weed is not very wide. Unless we can get a wider weeder. Um, anyway, yeah. Let's have a look at front loaders. Not actual front loaders, front loader tools. Uh, bale spike is 600. Oh, pallet fork 17. What have we got? That one's a 475. Might go for that one if it fits on. Mm, which one is it? I think it's that one. Buy that. Hopefully this will fit on. Seems to be through the floor, there we go. <laughs> That's weird. Yeah, I'll, uh, I, think, I think this will fit. Hopefully. There we go. Yeah. So yeah, that's... Uh, Go up to the field and we'll start loading the bales. I have just put the cultivator on because uh, I haven't got a rear weight. I don't really want to buy another rear weight because we're still saving up for better stuff. So um, I put the cultivator on just to act as a counterbalance for these bales and I can start loading them. Looks like Dagoin's loading them like that rather than. I, I usually put them on their ends because they just stop them from rolling around. And they stack a bit neater, but it doesn't really matter. He's actually doing quite a good job there. I'm probably better than I'm doing actually, because I've not got this bell on square. It's not ideal. I might straighten it up. Let's get that on right. Since he's trying to make an effort with this load and make it look good, I don't want to mess it up. I might go around the other side and load from this side, then we're not getting in each other's way. It's quite a narrow bell spike, so I can only really get one bell on at a time. Dagwin's using the pallet fork, you can get two on that, because you can widen it. You can't widen this bell spike. Anyway, yeah, I'll, I'll get on with this, we'll get this trail loaded. Right, that was uh, it didn't take too long at all really. Got all the bales on between us, so uh, yeah, that's good. I'm not sure who's going to go and sell them, but I'm sure somebody will. <laughs> Are we just putting the last two on and dropping them? <laughs> oh no, oh no, he's throwing them everywhere now. I can't believe that. It went so well, 
We've got them all on, perfectly. And now look at the mess he's made. Oh, well done, Dagoin. Oh, I'll let him sort it out. <laughs> I'll leave him to it. We need to get this field drilled next as well. So yeah, I'll, uh, I'll drop this off and then put the drill on. Actually, be better with a new tractor, but that's on the trailer at the moment. Um, when that's finished with, we can use a new tractor. I'll wait for him to finish loading this, and I'll take this. Right, okay, he sorted it out, sort of. It's not perfect now. It was going to be really neat, that. It's such a shame. But anyway, it doesn't matter. They're all on the trailer now. And I'll get these sold. December is a good month to sell the straw, so that's fine. Good time to sell. I think January might be slightly higher, but it doesn't matter. Be nice to have the money. we're going to get for this I'm not quite sure not really sold many bales yet in this series so I'm not quite sure on the prices but I would probably estimate oh what would it be about 15,000 it's probably the most or well, certainly the most straw we sold in one go uh, bale sell point yeah it's there isn't it probably we were selling the silage earlier so I'll spin around here see what we get for this Oh, I was a bit over. 10,000, virtually. Not quite. <laughs> Thought it been a bit more than that. Never mind. It's not too bad. So, yeah, now we're finished with this trailer for now, I think. This would be probably a good log trailer, though. Or possibly. I'm not sure. It's not really a log trailer, I know. It's a bale trailer, but... We could possibly get some logs on it. But not now. We're not doing logs at the moment. So I want to get that field drilled. We will, like I said, we also have a the one to harvest as well, but... Looks like Dago is speeding time up, actually, until the sun comes out again. Then we can get on with the harvest. I've brought that trailer up, put that there earlier. Because we'll need that when we do harvest the what is it, sorghum, I think, that. Uh, Dago has blocked the road. <laughs> oh dear. Let's see if we can get through here. What I suppose we could do is get the helper to do the drilling once I've done the headland, just to make sure it doesn't crash into any trees. And then we can get on with the harvesting. I do think it's a good idea to start drilling another field, because otherwise we'll have a load of empty fields and nothing to harvest for a while. Now this drill could do with some seed and fertiliser in it. We do have a bag here, but that's probably not going to fill it. Right, nearly good. We also need fertiliser. I think these two bags here are lime. Thank you, Dago in. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll go and buy some fertiliser and see because otherwise there's no point starting with only 2% fertiliser in the tank. So yeah, I'll, uh, I'll get that bought and then we can get on with the drilling. Here we are at the shop, just bought the bags, so we'll get these filled up. Seeds fallen and just the fertiliser. Oh, we need another bag. Might as well fill it to the top. Almost full, 80%. There we go. Right, okay, so now I will head back to that field that we just cleared the bales out of and start drilling that with the next crop. Um, what date, what month is it? It's December, so um, I think really soybeans is the best one because they'll be ready then in the spring, which is when soybean prices are the best. I know we've done quite a few soybeans recently, but we need to do what's going to be the most profitable at harvest time. And at, at this point, 
I think soybeans will be the best one to do. Either that or oats, because we could get the oats harvested pretty quickly. They're quite a fast growing crop, but I think really soybeans will be the most sensible thing to go for. So yeah, I'll, I'll get on with that. helper going on the drill now. As you saw there I just unloaded the fertiliser because I realised of course with precision farming on you don't actually need fertiliser for uh, soybeans so yeah, there's, there's no point having that in, just wasting money there. Uh, so I've unloaded that, it's just got the seed in now. And they, the helper can carry on drilling, I will start the rolling. Um, as you can see there Dagger Wind's actually doing the barley, I thought he was going to do this one. Bigger field there but never mind doing that one even though it's not already the other side of it's not ready that's why we're going to leave that one but if he wants to do that one he can do that it's not an issue still needs harvesting uh, yeah so I'll get on with the rolling
Right, that's the rolling done and the drilling. So that field is all ready now. That will start growing. Ready for the next harvest, which will be probably for that field in about April, May time, I'd have thought. Um, I think, what is it, five months, I think, growing for, for soybeans, I think, something like that. Um, so yeah, that's done. Dagoin looks like he's finished this bit of the barley harvest. Obviously the other side's still growing. Now he's spreading that with lime. And he sold the straw bales off that as well. I think we got it would have been about four, three or four thousand for the straw for that field. So yeah, that's uh, pretty good. One thing I was going to check, so there's another job we need to do eventually, whether it's today or not, I'm not sure yet, is sell the lettuce. No, it won't be today because uh, best time for that is January and February. Almost there actually, but yeah, a bit better in January, so we'll leave that for today. Um, no other crops obviously in storage because we haven't got a silo yet. So that's how it's looking at the moment. Got this bit to harvest, this bit all to drill, but we'll drill that when this bit's been harvested so we have one big field there. And obviously the same with this one, we'll hopefully get one big field here and we still need to extend further into the cliffs all the way up to the cliffs anyway. So yeah, um, that's pretty good. I think just to finish off, I don't know how long Dagwin's planning on staying today, probably be leaving soon, but I think I'll just make a start on the harvest of the sorghum. It's that he's doing and it's not raining, so it makes sense for us to start that now. So yeah, I'll, uh, I'll just start that. Not sure whether we'll get it finished today though.
Well, I think that's a pretty good natural stopping point now. I've just filled the trailer up. There's obviously still a bit more of the field to harvest, but we can do that next time. Um, but for now, I'll just... It's Dagwitz is finished as well, so yeah. It's a good time to finish. Um, yeah, I'll just sell this load. Just see what we get for this. Not far to go with it. Just down the hill. Not sure what we'll get for a load of sorghum. It's uh, the best price it could possibly be, I think, in December, more or less. So uh, it should be a decent price, probably around about 12,000. I think it's about 1,000 a litre. Or 1,000 per 1,000 litres, I should say. <laughs> anyway, yeah, let's have a look. Pretty slow this trailer at emptying actually. Surprised it takes so long. <laughs> I'd say it is going to be around about ten to twelve thousand by the looks of it. Yeah, pretty much twelve thousand. So yeah, pretty good. All right. Well, thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it again and I'll see you again in the next video.